Most social media managers are wasting hours of their time on tasks that could easily be taken over by AI. Now the agencies that adapt, they're scaling faster, they're signing better clients, and honestly, they're touching more grass, which I believe is something we all need. So in today's video, I'm going to show you three game-changing AI hacks for social media agencies that actually make your life easier. Hey, my name is Mel and I own a half a million dollar social media agency and I now help social media managers like yourself do the same. Now, if you're new here, make sure to grab my free roadmap to becoming a high paid social media manager and let's dive straight in. Now, the number one game changing AI hack is AI supported inbox management. The reason I say this is because I know the number one pain point and the task that we all dread as social media managers is community management and engagement, right? Inside of the accounts and all of that stuff. First of all, it takes a crazy amount of time and secondly it's it's not fun right we like to be creative we like to do the things and especially because it takes a lot of time that makes it so not fun but ai and tools like cloud campaign social media management tool is now implementing ai across the board in their tools including inbox management now, if you know me, then you would know that I don't believe in offering social media management without actually engaging or offering engagement in your packages. Because the reason being is like, what if the content blows up? What if people start commenting on your content, which is the whole point? And then you don't offer engagement, so no one is actually responding to anyone. So the least I believe every social media manager and agency should offer is inbound engagement. Inbound engagement means all the engagement coming in, you are responding to. So you may not go out of your way to be interacting with new clients or new potential audiences, but you are at least taking care of the social media presence and the engagement that's already there. So. If you offer inbound engagement, you don't actually need to be logged in to the client's account on your phones, but you can use a social media management tool just like Cloud Campaign so that you actually have a solid boundary between how much time you're actually responding to people without being chronically online and logged into these accounts on your phone, right? So the cool thing about AI inbox management is it saves you so much time. And I'm, I'm about to show you what that looks like and how good this inbox management actually is because it's not like the typical AI comments that I'm sure you've seen across social media where it is very obvious that someone's using AI to just respond to, to posts and all of that. But typically I see that being done to proactive outbound engagement, which makes it real tough to use AI, to be honest. But for inbox management, this is an, a no brainer. So the best part about it inside of cloud campaign is they allow you to actually put in your brand settings. Now, putting in your brand settings means you can add obviously your logo, your website and all of that stuff. But when you scroll down a little bit, there's a brand profile. So you can already tell the software, tell the cloud campaign what your brand voice is, what it sounds like, right? services your client or you offer, the industry, the, the location, and your target audience. Now, why do we do this? Is because once you put in your brand profile, as you can see here, the more you share about your company, the better AI can create content that feels consistent and on brand, including caption AI and replies to your social inbox. So let's say here, I'll say brand voice is... Um, direct, um, friendly, um, approachable, fun, for example. So I'm gonna say that, um, services, social media management, social media strategy. Okay, social media just in general. So actually I need to put this one by one, direct, friendly. So you can say content creation, for example, social media strategy industry, social media management, or, you know, um, location, Austin, Texas, so that it knows exactly where I am, content creators, um, 
brand six six seven figure brands so you can save this profile so now you ha actually have a brand setting and when you use the inbox tool you will see that it gets so much more accurate so if you go here into monitor you will have an actual inbox tool where you can see that you can respond to messages right um, now there's lots of filters here that you can do for clients and all of that good stuff but let's say you would go in here and I would hit reply. Now, instead of coming up with my own message here, I can say generate a response. Now here you'll say, it'd be like, hey there, thank you for your interest in blood tonic, which is actually pretty interesting because this is an account for um, one of my Chinese medicine clients. And so it recognized that BT was actually a many chat comment. It recognized that BT stood for blood tonic, and so it comes up with a response. Hey, thank you for interest. Um, you're on the wait list. We'll keep you updated. Now, of course, you want to remove the hashtags, but this makes my life so much easier. Now, note that this is not inside of my own account right now. I'm inside of a client account, so the brand settings are not necessarily for that right now. But here you can see how it recognized based on the content, based on the profile, it already recognizes it's supposed to draft a response to, or I have to hit this send, tweak it a little bit and I'm good to go versus having to come up with a response on my own at all times, which costs a lot of energy, costs a lot of brain output, right? And so this is a great way for you to get through a bunch of comments, especially if your client um, has a lot of engagement and a big account. Now, one thing you do need to pay attention to if you set out set up the brand settings that the linked accounts for myself right now, I have all clients accounts in one brand portfolio, but you can have separate organizational brand folders inside of cloud campaign that are for each brand and each client. So that way you can separate it out and you can actually use the brand settings per client. So that way, for example, how I'm really supposed to set it up is use the brand settings, only link my own account or Simply's account, and then do the same in a different organizational brand folder inside of Cloud Campaign. Here, where you go to the start, because that way you can add a different workspace for each client. And that way you have complete accuracy. You're not gonna make mistakes or schedule content across other brands. And so that is the ideal way to set it up. Now, if you haven't tried the cloud campaign for yourself yet and wanna give it a go, test these features out, then make sure you try a free trial that they have for 14 days. And if you find it helpful, you don't have to pay full price because you can use my discount code code mill 15 off that I'll also link below. Now the second game changing AI hack for agency owners and social media managers that are scaling is using chat GPT to build systems. Now I see everyone talking about content ideas and yes, it's great to use AI to make your life easier in many ways. Nobody is actually talking about having it built systems for you because most social media managers and agencies who are scaling, they are lacking systems and systems are the number one thing you need to scale your agency. And so if you wanna actually use AI effectively, I recommend you use tools like ChatGPT or other preferred AI tools to actually help you build systems. And so I often use ChatGPT as my thought brain partner there to say, hey, what would a system look like for this? Now, it doesn't always mean that it comes up with the perfect system or maybe it's not a system that necessarily directly works for you, but it gives you a start and it can even tailor it per platform. So I'm gonna show you exactly what that looks like. Here, I'm inside of ChatGPT and let's say you do social media engagement like we just talked about for clients, but you do it in a way where you actually wanna track leads and generate leads through DMs, through engaging with target audiences and all of that stuff, right? Now, in order for you to even prove your ROI and show how valuable your services are for your clients, you wanna keep track of those leads. Now, how do you keep track of those leads? What's the best way, right? So something that I, would do here is say, can you help me come up with a system to track leads from our social media engagement efforts on Instagram using ClickUp, our project management tool? 
Now, this is important because I can actually tailor it to ClickUp as a tool versus if you use Asana or Trello or whatever, Excel sheet, right? Maybe you're using Excel sheets and that's fine too, but you want to tailor it specifically to that platform because it can go as deep as that. So let's hit enter and see what it comes up with. Here's a ClickUp based system you can use to track leads that come specifically from Instagram. They will break it down into structure, workflow, and automation. Now, if you know ClickUp, ClickUp is very robust. It's amazing. Uh, you can have systems, automations, and, and so it can do all those things. Chat knows that, and it's going to help me come up with a system. So here it says uh, you need to create a list inside your sales marketing space called Instagram leads. Inside that list, you want to have custom spaces for lead name, Instagram handle, lead source, which is a drop down, engagement trigger, interest level, are they hot, warm, or cold, service interest, like what service are they interested in, follow up dates, and status, which is like a pipeline status for new lead, contacted, discovery call booked, proposal sent, closed, or lost. Now, it even comes up with a workflow for my team on how to use that system. So every time someone engages, this would be for my community manager, a team member will log them into a task in the lead system. For example, they can say the handle and they asked about pricing in the DM. So it even gives me an example. They can qualify them in the field and say what lead source it was, engagement trigger and interest level. Now from there on, we will move them through the pipeline. We DM them that we follow up, that they get on the call, etc. And then we set reminders as a follow up date. Hey, we reached out to them this date. So we're going to follow up, let's say in seven days from now. Now here it even tells me, okay, here's the automations you can put into place. Automation one is when a status changes from proposal sent, it can auto assign it to me, Milu, and set a follow up date in three days. So you can set up automations in ClickUp and it will tell me exactly how to do that. Automation two is when a task is created, it can automatically set it to new leads. And then the last one is when a status changes to closed or one, it can move it actually into a list for reporting. Now, from there on, there's a reporting dashboard also inside of ClickUp that I can show you um, where it can show leads by source, bar chart, table widgets, and all that stuff. Now, now it asks me, do you want this in a ClickUp template so you can import it directly? Yes, please. That's exactly what I need because I don't want to be setting all this up myself. But you see how I'm going one step ahead beyond what the regular social media manager or agency owner does. Not looking for content ideas. I want you to build me systems so my team can work more effortlessly, especially if you're looking to scale, drive better results and report back to clients. So here you can see it already comes up with a CSV that I can directly import inside of ClickUp. And I'm gonna show you how the end result looks in our actual ClickUp space. So here you can see we have a client, they have a master list with all the leads from status, Instagram link, notes, where they are at in the pipeline. When we last engage, do we follow them or not? And you can see we have tweaked this, what works for us. Now, as they mentioned, we do have a dashboard inside of ClickUp where we can see exactly, okay, who is hot, who was pitched, how many leads do we have? And now you are getting really, really clear, as you can see here, 95 total leads from social media that you can report back to your client. We added a board view over here that I named pipeline, which chat was talking about where you can move them through the pipeline. So if you want to use this view, you can say, oh, Tracy was cold. I'm now moving them to warm. They're semi-hot or maybe they're hot and they've closed. Now I have an entire system that I didn't even have to come up with. I didn't have to sit and think for weeks or days, right? And so that is the second hack that every social media manager or agency that wants to scale and continue to grow with their team to have the systems and processes in place. Now, the third hack for social media agencies using AI is reporting. Now, again, this is one of those mundane tasks that you might not even enjoy, but as a strategist, and if you want to deliver better results, you do need to report on performance. Now, the good thing is you don't have to do this all alone, right? I do want you to understand actually what's behind metrics, but it doesn't mean you have to sit down for hours to actually explain what's going on. Because again, you can use your top partner, AI, ChatGPT, whatever your preference is here to actually report to clients and let them know here are the patterns. Here's your best performing content. Based on these patterns, here's what we should do next. Now, 
This doesn't mean it takes over your work. I want to be very clear with that because what I've noticed with AI is that I don't always agree with the recommendations. Analyzing the data, it's perfect. It knows exactly what's going on. It can sh show me patterns and all of that stuff. But when it comes to the recommendations, I look at things very differently as a strategist than it sometimes recommends, right? Because you have to understand AI doesn't necessarily understand the platforms. It doesn't spend a lot of time there. So it doesn't really have that expertise. So this wraps up my three AI game-changing hacks for social media agencies and social media managers that will help you scale wherever you'd like to go. So to sum it up, we talked about having AI supported inbox management for inbound engagement using cloud campaign. We talked about using AI to actually build systems and not just content ideas. And thirdly, we said using AI to help report back on insights so that you're not wasting hours and hours on manual reporting. And again, Cloud Campaign also offers these AI-driven insights that you can use for a client. Now, make sure that if you want to try Cloud Campaign out after watching this video, you can use their free trial. And if you like the tool as much as I do, then make sure you're not paying full price, but use my discount code MAIL15OFF. And I will see you in next week's video.